and let's ride, ride for pop, pop, the life for pop, pop, pop off the glock, glock, the thug in the dumb stuff, stop, 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 Hello, I am coming on to do a reading for the collective. It's just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation. If it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you, um, I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay. Okay, Spirit, what is the energy around this reading, please? What is the energy around this reading, please, Spirit? The energy around this reading, please. Okay, so we have abundance, relationship, and pride, okay? Um, hold on. Okay, so Abundance says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into the physical reality. Relationships, I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Time, you are trying too hard, give it time. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okay, so there could be something that you're attracted to that's not in alignment for your highest good. You may be trying to bring something towards you um, and you may feel like there's like limitless potential when it comes to something that you want to go towards or maybe you feel like there's there's not boundaries around something. Maybe it's like a relationship. You feel like you could feel like there's no boundaries around something that you want to go towards or maybe that's like something that has to do with your pride where you have maybe pride around something so you feel like there's no boundaries when it comes to something that you feel like there's like limitless potential with something that you want to go towards um but this may be affecting your physical reality because you may be trying really hard to go towards something where you feel like there's limitless potential but there may be something that is not in alignment for your highest good and you may be having your pride get in the way um when it comes to something you're trying to go towards it may be affecting your confidence or it may be something that is affecting even like your um foundation when it comes to like your stability because you could feel like there's not boundaries in a situation where um there are boundaries and it could be affecting um could be affecting your foundation because you may be crossing boundaries when it comes to like the actual the actual reality of a situation um this could also be making you feel not confident or affecting your confidence when it comes to your pride or your own sense of self um I do feel like there's answers that you are able to look at when it comes to your own um, inner world or like a place that you are able to reflect on looking at your like uh, logic like logic and emotional mind um, when it comes to like 
your soul and like the truth that you can um, that you can look at when you go within um, to find the answers to this situation. Maybe if your re physical reality is being affected um, in some way to come into more confidence so that you're able to move forward in a more effective way. Okay, so I feel like that's the energy around the reading. There's something around your intuition. I feel like there's like this inner knowing or there's this like intuitive part of you that is um, in some way directing you to go in a certain direction. I feel like you're maybe really vigilant right now. Maybe you're stuck in some sort of cyclical pattern. Maybe you're stuck in ruminating thoughts. This is some pattern that has you feeling not um, at your best or maybe not feeling as happy as you want to be. Maybe there was like a time of being happier or um, feeling happier, but I feel like there's like this grief or loss or heartache that you could be in right now. Maybe this is like a pattern that you've been going through or something you've been cycling through. Um, and I feel like it's something that's affecting you maybe with the overall energy. It's like um, doing something that is is not as effective as you feel like it could be or like making choices that you know are not in alignment with what you should be doing as far as like your soul's growth. but whatever this is I feel like you're in this energy now where you may have to keep you're like you're feeling like you have to keep a guard up or you could be like really vigilant um about staying guarded um maybe from repeating a pattern that is not that's not working or it's like repeating a pattern like continuing to repeat a pattern that is not beneficial but continuing to do it even though it's in the end continuously leading to like being in this heartbroken energy, which I feel like it's like you, you feel like the outcome of it is going to lead you to being in this like really happy, vital, vital energy of being like really happy. But the overall energy is saying that this is like a, this is a, it's, it's like something where you know that you, you feel like there's no boundaries in a situation. This could be a situation where it's like there's a relationship that you are like trying to cross a boundary with. Or there's like a situation where you feel like there's no boundaries up. Or there's like limitless potential where there are boundaries in a situation. But you're continuing to cross those boundaries. So... You feel like you're going to end up with this overall vital happy energy but in the end it ends you in this like heartbreak or this like grief energy but you feel like the outcome is going to be abundance and um even though in your mind you think that it's going to end in this positive like vital vital energy but the outcome is heartbreak and grief and it's like the idea that there's like that there's no boundaries in a situation where there could be like a relationship going on but you feel like there's there's the possibility to like cross that boundary because you feel like there is no boundaries and this is a cycle that could be repeating and repeating that cycle is ending you in this negative place or space and your intuition's guiding you to come into a place where you might end up in this positive or happier energy by um choosing to like follow your intuition into like going into your morals or following like what you intuitively know is the right direction um i i feel like if this is a cycle you want to continue repeating then I don't, I don't feel like that's something you need to stop if it's something you want to continue doing, but I feel like it's going to continue leading to suffering, is all I'm saying. Um, 
don't, I don't necessarily feel like um, what you're going for, the, <laughs> the abundance that you think is there from the situation that you're trying to go for, I don't necessarily think you are very um, clear about the situation or where the abundance is coming from is my, um, my advice to you. And I um, am advising you to like rethink that because I can guarantee you that <laughs> you have the perspective um, very, it's very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's very um, misconstrued is what I'm going to say. It's not, it's not accurate. Okay, so I'm going to clarify. Okay, so it may just be really important to go inward and gain some clarity on your own um, foundation. Maybe look into your world at new possibilities coming in for you that may bring you out of an energy that may be like um, putting you in these cycles. I really think that if there's something you can do that, I, I mean, if this is something you're, that's really important to you that you want to continue doing, maybe you see yourself evolving into a place of being happier in this um pattern that you continue to go through and if this is something that interests you as far as like trying to reach a point where you could maybe come out of some sort of emotional grief that you're going through I then I feel like if if that brings you some sort of peace then continue doing the pattern that is bringing you into heartache I I do feel like um there is a large energy suggesting that you focus on your foundation or what is in your foundation um what's in your current setting, um, really going inward to do a lot of inner work to bring in clarity around how to like bring in your own vital happiness into your own world, make decisions that are going to bring um, happiness into your life with what is in your life. Like, um, I do think that you have a lot that comes in for you naturally through like source and spirit and whatever you work with as far as like a higher power or whatever you lean on as far as like being intuitively guided with the high priestess and the four of cups but you may be like disinterested in what is being offered to you as far as your own personal guidance or what you're guided by you may be looking outward at like what other people are um developed in when it comes to intuition or a, like a guidance system but I mean it's like the double-edged sword or it's like everybody has it better than me but I, I mean I feel like if you just focus on your own um, world or your own um, space that you're in I feel like you can really bring in that pleasure and that place of really celebrating your own success and finding that vital energy that you're um trying to get from this cycle that you keep repeating I feel like where where you again you feel like there's not boundaries in place but with the with the nine of wands and the eight of swords I do see these both as like two people having strong boundaries up and I feel like these two people are people that have been through very difficult times together um, and have had a lot of mental um, anguish and have had a lot of very uh, rough periods that they've gone through together and in some way have used that as a way to place strong boundaries up around their situation. So I don't only feel like these are boundaries up around whatever situation this is. I feel like it's like a large brick wall that can't be taken down like I'm talking about like even if there were a tower it's like okay well we're gonna dig a hole in the dirt like I'm saying like this isn't this isn't something where a tower comes and then this crumbles and it's fallen apart it's like okay well we'll sleep on the ground like th this isn't like um 
it just falls apart. And um, that's just clarity to bring forward about the, I feel like, work that's gone into this situation with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords that are here with the High Priestess and the Hermit. Okay. 